welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in this interesting lecture of muscle physiology and today we are going to discuss about the length of the muscle fiber and the tension or the force in it that is the relationship in between length and tension this is a topic this is very important for the multiple choice question as well as the short answer question of 3 or 5 marks okay so myself is professor deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology my whatsapp number is 9226810630 so let us start to discuss about this relationship tension is equal to force this you must remember now when i contract the muscle there is a typical tension in my hands can you see this is the tension or the force tension or the force tension or the force this is contraction of the muscle of my hands tension or the force developed in the muscle during the resting condition now i am not moving i am not contracting too much my resting condition and during the contraction that varies of course naturally when the resting there is another tension when it is contracting there will be another tension but that depends according to the length of the muscle fiber okay tension developed in the muscle during the resting condition is known as passive tension tension developed in the muscle during the isometric contraction is called as a total tension so these are the two terms one is a passive tension and another is a total tension now what is active tension the difference between the passive tension and the total tension at a particular length of the muscle is called as active tension this will be asked in the oral also why why and this will be asked also on the mcq so dash 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 is active tension or passive tension or the total tension so you must remember this definition difference between the passive tension and the total tension at a particular length of the muscle fiber is called as active tension for the further our discussion we will more over concentrate on the active tension final calculation calculated active tension active tension is considered as the real tension that is generated in the muscle during contractile process contraction process it can be determined by the length tension curve this is called as a graph length tension curve the relationship between length of the muscle fiber and the tension developed by the muscle this is the relationship that is uh, explained by the length tension curve it is also called as a length force curve why there is another word because tension is equal to force don't forget this word tension is equal to force now the curve is obtained by some animal experiment especially the frog experiment is done to determine this or plot this particular length tension curve so you must write down animal experiment is needed frog is taken and gastrocnemius muscle as you know in the human being calf muscle is a gastrocnemius muscle and the sciatic nerve and this particular model of experiment is called as a gastrocnemius sciatic preparation in animal experiment this word is common preparation okay muscle is attached to micrometer meter means length uh, there is particular instrument on the one end of that muscle and a force to a, that particular muscle is attached to a force transducer the name of the part is a force transducer on the other end so there are two ends in the animal experiment one is attached to the micrometer another is a force transducer muscle is not allowed to shorten because of its attachment on both the sides as there is attachment on both sides that muscle cannot move the length cannot be changed okay here you can see the experiment this is the micrometer here this is the muscle this is the stimulation is will be given electric current or shock will be given neuromuscular junction okay then force transducer and the polygraph can you see my cursor polygraph the graph will be plotted a micrometer is used the upper part again i will go back this micrometer will be used for what to set the length of the muscle because meter is unit for the length yes force transducer is connected to polygraph a graph paper polygraph is used to measure the tension developed by the muscle during isometric contraction now to begin with how the experiment is performed to begin with minimal length of the muscle is set for example 
one inch or two inch minimum length is set by using the micrometer. The passive tension is determined because it is resting now using the force transducer. There is no stimulation. Then after that, the muscle is stimulated. First, the passive tension is recorded. Then stimulation and then total tension is determined. And from these about two values, one is passive tension, another is a total tension. And so active tension is calculated. Mathematical. Okay, next. Then the length of the muscle is gradually increased. Length of the muscle is increased. And every time, every time the graph is made, at every length, both passive tension and total tension are determined. That means 3 inch, now 4 inch I have done. No stimulation, no stimulation. At 4 inch, again I will make a passive tension. But stimulation will come again. Something will happen, contraction, and the graph will be recorded. So every time, passive tension and the total tension is determined for every length and the calculation of the active tension is made. All the values of active tension at different levels are plotted on the graph paper, of course, x and y axis to obtain the length tension curve. From this curve, the resting length is determined. This term is very, very important, resting length. Another definition. There are four definitions in this particular session. One is of uh, passive tension, then the total tension, then the active tension, and here is the resting length of the muscle fiber. What is that? First, I will show you some graph. For example, tension is maximum. Here, you can see this is the maximum tension. This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. x-axis for length, y-axis for tension or the force. Tension and force are similar words. Don't get confused. Tension means force. Okay. Tension, when there will be maximum tension on top, can you see B and C values? This is the maximum tension. Here, this is the graph. When actin and myosin overlapping is optimal, this is the myosin filament, this is the actin filament. When overlapping is maximum, that particular tension will be highest. If the Z line, these, these are the Z lines. Z lines are, for example, two apart. Two apart. This is not optimal. A basic need is there. Overlapping. Overlapping is not maximum. Then that tension will be less. Here you can see. Here the D value. Huh? Can you see? Z resting condition. No tension. Huh? All are apart. Actin myosin are apart. Tension will be developed. When tension will develop? Remember my words. When tension will develop? When actin and myosin maximum overlapping, maximum overlapping of actin and myosin, then there will be tension. Here, contraction. Maximum overlapping, then there will be tension. It's like a rubber. Huh? If it is too much overlapping, here, A point, A point, again, tension will be reduced because some parts of the actin will not be overlapped by the myosin. So everything in this particular session, you must remember, actin myosin filaments overlapping of actin myosin filaments when overlapping is maximum tension will be maximum overlapping less tension less simple thing to remember actin and myosin overlapping will create the tension and that forget about the length but length is, but you will see sir so it is a directly proportional indirectly no no you just because too much is not good and too near is also not good. Tension is depend on the optimal thing, basic things of overlapping. The similar type of the, here you can see, not too much apart. This is Z line, this is Z line. This is myosin filament. Can you see? This is actin. They are too apart, no tension, no tension. Here maximum overlapping. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 4 plus 8. Here also 8. Eight molecules are attached. Head of the myosin. Head of the myosin is attached to actin. Maximally, tension will be maximum. Here, again, coming near, coming near, but tension will be less because some parts will be not exposed. Some heads of the myosin will not be attached to the actin molecules. I, I think you are understanding what I am saying. Now, this is a little bit complicated graph looking to be, but not that much complicated. Here you can see resting length. This word is very important, resting length. Here you can see muscle length. Here you use the tension. 
at a particular length at a particular length the muscle is uh, tension will be maximum at particular length this resting length the tension will be maximum but after that length the again that will be dropped down tension will be dropped down so resting length this definition is very important length of the muscle at which the active tension is maximum simple to remember when tension is maximum that is resting length active tension is proportional to the length of the muscle up to the up to the resting length beyond resting length the active tension decreases so resting length this particular slide this particular ppt you must remember by heart resting length is equal to length of the muscle at which at which active tension is maximum this is for mcq also now here again once again i have repeated resting length the tension is coming down here tension is down don't forget here tension is maximum here tension is maximum this is the maximum point okay this is minimum okay tension is minimum here this is because it is a two apart i have shown you in that figure previously you go that figure and see now length tension relationship is explained on the basis of sliding of actin filaments over the myosin filament during the muscular contraction the active tension is proportional to overlap between actin and myosin filaments in the sarcomere which is a structural and functional unit of the muscle contractile unit and the number of cross bridges formed between the actin and myosin filaments okay when the length of the muscle is less than the resting length there is increase in the overlap between the actin and myosin filaments and the number of cross bridges the active tension gradually decreases up to the resting length okay after the uh, up to the resting length that is okay now during the stretching of the muscle beyond resting length there is a reduction in the overlap between the actin and myosin filaments and the number of cross bridges and the active tension starts declining beyond the resting length so at resting length the tension will be highest not before and not after both there will be less tension at the resting length the tension will be highest that is the definition of the resting length what is resting length when the tension is maximum and when tension is maximum maximum overlapping of actin and myosin filaments head of the myosin and actin my dear friend this is all about the uh, relation in between the uh, length of uh, length and tension about the resting length etc so i hope you have liked this video please share this video like this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to get interesting videos like this okay i wish you all the best and take care